Well, good evening again, everyone. Warren JFK grad and current YSU Penguin Chad Zalo said he wanted to make a statement at the Horizon League Indoor Track and Field Championships this weekend. And on day one yesterday, he did just that, finishing first in each of his three solo prelim events, including setting a new personal record in the 60-meter dash. Today, he was looking to make another statement by winning all three of those events. He's the reigning 60-meter and 60-meter hurdles champ here in the hurdles, blowing by the competition, posting a time of 7.61 seconds, a new Horizon League record. About 40 minutes later, the former JFK Eagle raced by the competition again in the 60-meter dash, posting a time of 6.77 seconds, tying his personal and Horizon League record he just set yesterday. On top of that, he took home the 200-meter title, Conference Athlete of the Year, and Outstanding Track Performer. You know, that was big just to do it for my team. You know, my focus today was just to score as many points for my team as possible and uh, get my team in a good position to win it, and I definitely did that, so that was exciting to do. Chad Zalo, what can you say? It's 1 to 60, 1 to hurdles, 1 to 200. I mean, he's the reason he's number one, number two in, two in the U.S., and number four in the world. Elsewhere in the championships today, this is what they were playing for. Another big day for YSU junior Amber Ells, who won the 60-meter hurdles and set a new personal and school record for the second straight day, running it at 8.44 seconds, two tenths better than she did yesterday. She helped the Penguin women grab the conference title, beating Wisconsin-Milwaukee by over 40 points. It's their first crown since 2015. On the men's side, that's Mineral Ridge grad Ryan Booth. He won the shot put with a throw of 18.4 meters, a new personal record for the former Ram. And guess what? The men capturing their second straight Horizon League championship, holding off Oakland by 31 points today. It feels great. I mean, uh, before last year, it was, it was a very long time before we won. To do it back to back, kind of setting a precedence for the next uh, couple years. That's huge for YSC. You know, our track program keeps on building and building every year. So, you know, it's just a good look for our track program. And, uh, you know, we're just going to build, build off that for the years to come. Having everyone come in today and do what they need to do and do better than what we expected people to do is just an awesome feeling. And to know that we did this as a team is even better. It's going to be fun for all the kids to, for this week and for the next couple weeks and stuff to really just celebrate together. Yeah, when one does and one doesn't, but uh, tonight they both get a Celebrate together and, and of course, uh, get rings for the kids and again, and, and celebrate this again. 